To live in is one way we are not allowed to express our rights. One way we don't have access to basic rights. We don't have clean water. Uh, we don't have health. We don't have jobs. You know, it's a kind of Zimbabwe where people are not allowed to express themselves freely. We want it to go. Let's go. You know, people were asking me last year when I was a resident this year, and they said, aren't you afraid? You know, and I said, yes, I am afraid, but let me tell you who I'm more afraid of. I'm more afraid of my children 20 years from now. When they ask me, why did you do nothing? That is a more fearful thought. Right now, we are right in the middle of the Central Business District. Everyone is marching. Uh, we're all going towards State House now, and uh, there is hundreds of thousands of people on the street. Everyone has come from everywhere. We don't have to wait for someone to tell us a victory. Look at it. It's a victory. Mugabe never allowed us to do this. And this time we didn't get his permission, we did it ourselves. He's gone, he's history. We're not sure what the information is. We're told that uh, the general that came out to address has said that he thanks people for coming, that it's the first step and that there'll be more information coming out, so he's asked us to go. Magona, Magona. Let's go, let's go home. This is the end of an era, guys. We have never seen anything like this. I mean, this is just, just incredible. I'm trying to set up my Twitter here at the same time. As the president of Zimbabwe, and as their commander-in-chief, do acknowledge the issues they have drawn my attention. I mean, it was just, it was crazy. Like the whole nation was listening to this thing. And this guy said nothing, nothing. And he was sitting there with the generals and you know, everybody. And when it, when it finished, like the whole nation was just like, what, what just happened? So I think that, you know, for the first time, there is a little bit of, you know, kind of worry that maybe things are not gonna go our way. But, you know, I think the optimism is there because you can see the process has already started um, and you know the voices are really loud from all the citizens to say hey look we, we don't want this 